Welcome back, indeed, about to face off against the finale of the Monkey Man Stoon. Oh boy, this moment indeed. Yep, dead. Oh boy, yeah. Of course, I imagine just about everybody picked up that item. Of course, I'm no exception to that. Oh boy. Yeah, the remains of an eth eth ethereal shield, indeed. So I believe this is where I I piss off because I realise two sh you know a shark and a crambo is not going to cut it, and uh, you know, and also mandatory burial indeed. Yeah, indeed. Not exactly equipped in that, so I piss off for a bit. You know, re-equip going through these twats again, and yet make my way towards the actual final boss. Oh boy. And yet what? Yeah, what? wow. Well, an epic climax it is. Though I gotta say, I fucked up the safe spot here, yeah? You'll see here how I fucked up. See the way he's lined up? He's lined up so that, yeah, you might be on the other side, you fucking tipped. Can't. Look at that. I'm doing decent damage, but then look at this, just boom, fucking 40. It's like, god damn. There you uh, see that? Just, god damn. Yeah, that hit was entirely my fault, although it's always hard to get, you don't think, oh, this angle from you know, this direction means you'll go this way, like, you kind of forget about that unless you're really, really familiar with the engine, and even then it's like, such an easy little thing to forget. So you see, this time I stick in the other way around, though it doesn't really matter this time. Yeah, here's the thing, why the fuck was I taking damage this way? I was protecting range. You know what I think it is, Anna? You've got to kind of pull them forward and that, because I think that has a range of 8 and 9. And Not that it really mattered anyway, because he was almost dead again. And that, you know, just... And then this third one, I'm pretty sure the Twisted Boat does fuck all. And that, so... Indeed. This is where the sort of climax occurs, and then, oh boy. Just, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, Twisted Boat doesn't really work the same way, and, uh, and I kind of figured the best strategy would just be range him until he pulls me in, and then after that, just try mealing him or some shit. Or not, did I do a bit of both? I think I did. And I, uh, see with that, you're not getting the gear already, and oh fuck. Yeah, I think I've reorganised the inventory and that to match it just a bit better because I think the twisted ball at that point would be pointless. And yep, indeed. Let's see with that. Oh boy. i got to say though, as far as the actual fight gets glow and that, surprisingly I didn't do half bad on that, you know. I would say probably, I'll, I'll, I don't know. I would say the song else one wasn't too bad either, but well. Of course, that's already kind of indicating of spoilers, indeed. Oh, so far. Yeah, you see with that, just bloody chaos, that. Yeah, I think I tried to do both, and that, and it was not easy. And that, not easy at all. Because he keeps kind of pushing you back and forth, and that, you see. <laughs> Certainly not what I'd call easy by any stretch of the imagination. And that, look at that, just <laughs> fucking hell. Puts you back and forth, and it's like, holy shit, the guy doesn't give you a break. And yeah, save that, get ready, heal, and it's oh damn. <laughs> see, oh. oh, that's quite the fight indeed, but eh, Maris pull off in the end. Though that one might have killed me, have I not healed? Like, yeah, once he gets to right near the end, he just fucking thwomps you, and that is just like, holy fuck. Yeah, he does not hold back, I gotta say. Uh, don't think I actually took any damage out of that one, but still. Yeah, see with that, it's... Andy. So yeah, certainly of the first of the three Grandmaster quests, this is... Quite the, I guess it's not like when you compare it to the other two, it's not quite on the same level, but it's still very much a, a fitting end to what is the monkey 
series and that, yeah, see, Song of Bananas, certainly. Oh boy. But yeah, this is now finishing up, and indeed, I used to get, you know, obvi the obvious unlock is the the Demora Grails and the, the famed Zenite gear, you know, Army of Torture, the Ring of Suffering, Necklace of Anguish, and the Bracelet, the bracelet of is it? <coughs> Torment or something? Yeah, Bracelet of Torment. You know, those four. And that, where they're kind of niches that they offer fuck all defense and limited prayer, but they offer what is essentially the best in slot for their kind. So, for the amulet, it would be the melee stat, for the necklace, it would be range, the bracelet offers the mage one, though it's, it's a glove kind of thing, so it's not quite the same. And then the ring of suffering is obviously the ring, and that gives you the defense. And that, <laughs> indeed. Although, actually, it does give, give you augmented prayer, so it's like. You know, two prey with ten on all defense if you have it unimbued, but yeah, imbued, it becomes very good as a defense item, you know, and also it doubles as a recoil kind of thing, which is quite good. And indeed, this also gives you a per a perk, two ways actually. <laughs> so, one, this is a bit of a surprising one, but indeed, the Royal Sea Paw that gives you a, an easy, cheap, you know, 30 level wieldy teleport. Which I've been wanting a long time now, and now I finally do. The other one's a bit more subtle though, in the sense that Apato is no longer a place where it's super dangerous. You must be using a monkey gree gree to get around, and that, like, yep, yeah, indeed. The first of three completed. And yes, certainly it's quite the joy to be had, and that, eh, hey, yep. Yeah. This is it right here. Oh boy, this pod. And you can actually buy more, it's not... You know, I was worried that it'd be usable, but you still have to pay maybe a good... You know, for 500 GP to a couple K for it, so... Cheaper, but still expensive, but... Nope. They are... 2 GP. Yeah, not 1 GP, but... I mean, I'm not going to complain that it's only twice the amount it cost as the absolute minimum it could have been. You know, it's still extraordinarily cheap, and the fact you can buy hundreds and never have to worry about it again, even if you lose a whole bunch, you know, that's one huge perk out of this. But also, the thing with April Toll, I imagine getting around is like you don't have to use a fucking Gregory or anything, you know. And also, yeah, you got, you know, a quick tilt. I, I don't know if this is faster than the. What is it? I don't know if this is faster than the agility course. I'm not entirely sure on that. It might be, but. I could also be mistaken on that one, but alas, here we are. So, yeah, certainly this being sort of the, oh, sort of the, yeah, it feels strange to be in amongst monkeys and no longer being fucking assaulted on site. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it's going to keep even stranger. I've just realised that the ironic thing is, is that for someone who's complete Monkey Manus 2, but somebody who's yet to complete the first one, you know, the whole question is all oh, the let people win and all that, you know, it's all fine like peace. And yet you still see people getting attacked by the monkeys if you get to do, you know, the first monkey matter in the middle of doing it. And it's like, yeah, it's a bit interesting that. Also, yes, a monkey banker indeed. Ah, yes, yet another usual one alongside the vampires and other ones, you know. Yeah, it's certainly, it's dream to learn all about the, was it the... The Bank of Gielinar, and there are many branches indeed. Oh boy. But yeah, this, I suppose this concludes the video. And that, uh, just going off and very much showing off the, how to say it, you know, what else April offers post Monkey Madness 2. Though I suppose there is also a couple of things I want to show off first. Mainly like miscellaneous videos of sorts. Things I probably should have shown a few videos ago, but alas, I kind of forgot. And that, you know. Uh, see, that. Nah, God damn. Yeah, funny enough for that, I've done off the monkey. Do I still have the monkey out equipped? I'm not entirely sure. And that, uh, it looks as if I don't. No, no, no. I, no. no, actually, no, 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 I don't. And that, yeah, apparently, alright, apparently, yeah, that kind of makes the monkey armlet thing kind of, yeah, it's a similar kind of thing what they do in the other one, the, the one coming up next, and that, 
except it's to do with cats and that, so it kind of undoes certain items and that. Though, strangely enough, I will say this, even for three quests, the ghost, uh, the ghost speak one is still technically required, there is not done anything with that yet, but I suspect, I have a funny feeling that if they do a Grand Master quest for the fourth one, they'll make it so you don't need to, you know, you have a, I mean, a ghost speak for that anymore. That's what I suspect, it makes sense, you know, kind of the undead spirit, you know, Mauritania being a very spooky place indeed, you know, all of that, you know, it'd be fitting for that to be included there, but who knows what they will do with that. And certainly, I also look forward to the Desert 2 quest that uh, hopefully they'll do right after Mauritania. If they continue that, I'm not sure, their kind of guidance seems to be going against that. So, we'll see what happens, you know. But yeah, indeed, this is first of three down, and you'll see the other two coming up. I guess shortly-ish, but alas, so I suppose with this now being finished, there's now a couple of things I like to show off that are a bit less of significance, but are still quite nice to indeed to have. So, does anyone remember that Zamorak Hill I got from Crowd Sitsarov? Yeah, the only half decent item we've got from so far. Yes, this is indeed the time where I do indeed craft my own once more, but I suppose it's not really significant, so, you know, it's not like the first one, so I'll just whizzy on by, like you see here, I'm actually curious, did it show off the rest, or? Yeah, because you see here the, indeed, uncut sapphires, and uh, it's, yeah, it's a bit pish. Not gonna lie, and then yeah, I tried doing the whole skipping task thing to get the chemical hydra, which unfortunately I was not able to get. You know that was a very sad day indeed, and just goddamn, you know, not having fun with that. But yeah, you know, I do got to pay respects to the Zamorak Godsword though, because it was indeed the first Godsword ever had. You know, and the only one I had actually way back years ago. You know. Yep, indeed, my previous account did manage to get his very own god, sh you know, god shod and that, you know, but unfortunately he never actually earned it, you know, <laughs> there's a difference between, you know, buying one and actually getting your own and well, here I have it now, indeed, terrifying heavy sword, with that ice cleave, what a beauty indeed, so, I suppose to finish it up, why not something like a little bit wacky? Not that kind, no. This kind, yeah. Indeed, while I was doing stuff on my outback then, yeah. There's a little bit of a dance and that. Yeah, no. Some black power. Oh, boy. Gotta love that dancing, though, eh? Okay, hell. Yeah, the shenanigans you do when you're on free to play what I was, eh? As I say, I do like to show off my best and sort of game, which, yeah, is always guaranteed to be twice the ball for quite a while now, and... Oh, boy, certainly it's quite the nice fashion scape, indeed. I pity I don't have true fashion scape, because I do want to make sure it's fashion scape that shows off the best of my wealth, but... Alas, that is to be that for now. So, yeah, that is that. Now, to show off what is pretty much what I'm up to at the moment. Alright, there we go. So, indeed, this is where we stand at the moment. Yes, yeah, so you're now called this place. This is indeed the Evianzis. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And indeed, you all know, so I butchered up. I got quite a bit damaged on the way here and indeed I suppose that's the thing it's having to try and also yeah indeed no I'm out of crossbow I sold mine so I've yet to get back so I'm having to use the dragon hunter crossbow instead which is most amusing indeed now the thing about this is the whole what is it death thing and that and I've never died once of Kriara or Zeliana but I would say Kriara is a bit more likely so 
Indeed, but why are we doing this knowing that not only is it Yeah, see with that Oh boy, what's curious is up against that channel is uh Uh No that's a crossboard. Much like it myself. And that but yeah, so essentially that is where my best pet will remain in. And I hopefully someday I'll be able to get out. Yeah, pet Criara, my best pet of all. And I can only dream of being able to get it. But if I get lucky, I'm not going to get another chest player chain skirt. It's certainly not a fucking helmet. Though I'd be alright with one help. It's to get the pet. If I get that pet, ho, oh, I think that would be me. Like, that would be. And then it'll just be a nice little bonus, you know, like, I'm still hunting for some of the bear pets, but that is the one I want, you know, and I don't think I'm going to get in two days, you know, like, at best I might get 130-ish kills in that, but if I do get it, well, God, you'll hear me all about it, you know, and just over the moon, indeed. So, I suppose that would to do that, eh? Off to do some creator, and with luck, I might be able to say something for the next video on that, which shall be... A most titular one at that indeed, so... Well, till then folks, till then.